code. All right, so good morning, how are you? So we have been working with the Earth Star key code um, in the IM membership and in the those of you who are taking it for two weeks. And I want to continue kind of on with that theme because um, when we're disconnected from our Earth Star, personally and collectively, we've got big problems, right? So we spoke on Sunday um, with Whitetail Hawk, and that was a really interesting energy, first time that I had ever channeled that energy. And it kind of came with a little bit of a sense um, of urgency, and it was certainly not to alarm anyone, but it's so important that we take time out to, to really be conscious and aware and to do our work. So thank you so much for showing up for these calls because I know Wednesdays is a lot about giving back to the planet. Um, so there's a lot of violence, as we know, on the earth. Um, and when certain events occur that kind of accentuate that, it brings it into our focus. And no matter where you are in the world, um, I'm sure you can attest to the fact that the violent acts seem to be really amplified. Definitely here in the United States, we have this uh, mass shooting thing that seems to happen regularly. We had another one on July 4th and um, you know, you're just at a parade with your family and you don't feel safe. And I don't know what's left. We got grocery stores, churches, uh, cinemas, um, schools, doctor's offices, weddings. I mean, I, I don't know where you really feel at home. And, um, and so what brings people to this state of such despair and mental illness to create such heinous acts and you know a piece of that obviously is a disconnection from themselves um and also from the earth we, we're so removed from tuning in to the rhythms of nature to the earth to each other um also to our heart center to connecting and 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 with one another and also same in denmark yeah we, everyone thinks of denmark as um such a, a peaceful place. You know, we look in, in the United States to Denmark and Sweden on a lot of levels. Oh, you can't hear me. Uh, can, can you guys hear me? You can, okay, so it must be on their end. Um, you know, as these peaceful places and yet it's showing up in other parts of the world as well. So staying connected to the rhythms of the earth and to mother earth and honoring her and returning to some of our, the old practices and ways of being that have been so lost in our culture, uh, disconnected. And then there's all the you know emotional and physical trauma that people experience in their lifetime and they begin to disassociate and disconnect energetically from their spirit. And then the heart really shuts down and becomes hardened and acts of violence occur and there's a sense of numbness that happens and a wondering you know you often hear oh it's just a sweet little quiet boy or a girl and what happened so today what I'd like to do is just kind of tune in um and and reconnect ourselves to to the vibration and the essence of both the the earth our heart and the higher realms. And then rather than going into a specific place where there's violence and there's wars occurring, obviously all over the globe, all the time, uh, hard to believe we're still doing that, but we seem to be doing it, um, <laughs> is if we can go into somebody that we personally know. So it can be a family member or a friend. It doesn't mean that they're about, about to commit an act of a violent act, but it could just mean that you notice that they're disconnected. Maybe they're more angry than usual, resentful, or they've got a lot of trauma. They aren't able to clear. And after we attune ourselves to tuning in and connecting ourselves and feeling really whole, if you feel some extra energy that you're able to summon right and hold of a really nice high quality of love then let's go in and choose somebody in our life 
And, and it could be somebody that we're annoyed with or angry with as well. That's another option. Um, and just go in and invite them into our reality, into our energetic field. And, and do a little cleaning up as if you are in a medical intuitive or healer and go into their field with their permission, of course, and, um, and see if you can support them and reconnecting to the earth, softening the heart and attuning to spirit. And by doing that, um, it helps you, it heals you, it helps heal them, it spreads more light. And the rippling effect surprisingly can be very powerful because um, we're all interacting with all kinds of people all the time. So just like a nice little smile to somebody at the grocery store, believe it or not, can really make a difference, uh, can lighten their energy and vibration. And maybe somebody who is going to go home and really let into someone or even commit an act of violence, like hit or push somebody, it may just shift them just enough that they don't go in that direction. So that's the plan for today. All right. Um, there we are. So Let's um, take a nice deep breath. I'll bring in Raphael. I'm going to turn off my recorder. So if you guys don't hear me, don't panic. I'll be right back. Ow, ow, ow. Hello. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. It is that we are delighted to be here with all of you from the angelic realm. And we recognize that Kelly is deeply invested in working with us in the key codes as we are anchoring many of you into your earth star and preparing you for the ascension into a new realm of being. We want to remind you that although there will be an escalation and an uptake in energetic shifting and changing in the next uh, four to six months as it ramps up a bit, there is nothing whatsoever to worry about or to be concerned about nor need to put your energy in worrying about the future, but to maintain a sense of presence, bringing you into the presence of here and now where it is that you are knowing that in this now moment, wherever you are is divine and perfect. We are attuning you all and calibrating your energetic field as you begin to drop into the physicality of form, taking a nice deep breath now and as you are breathing in, moving into the body feeling yourself fully present and in your body, in the human experience, remembering that escaping from where it is that you are or moving into addictive behaviors or attuning to realms outside of yourself uh, are a distraction temporarily. And although we are from other realms and we are here to support you, we are wanting you to bring that energy and to anchor it in, to bring it into the vibration of where you are in form now in this body as you drop it down into the earth. The earth is going through enormous changes and her contractions will continue to get stronger and more intense and faster. And as that happens, uh, as the midwife to her and to yourself, it is essential that you are centered, that you are have your wits about you that you are capable of taking action in a moment's notice, that you are grounded, that you are aware, that you are attuned to your intuitive skill sets and your instincts and your ability to assess and to take action when needed. And so due to that, we are asking you to tap into your awareness to become more and more 
more and more conscious of your words, of your thoughts, of your actions, of your energy, of where you're placing your energy. Are you placing it outside of self? Are you in your body? Are you connecting to the earth? Are you honoring the earth? Uh, are you bowing to her in sacredness? And as you begin to become more and more and more awake, fully alert, you become a complete and absolute conscious being, a recorder and a witness and a recognizer of all that is occurring from a state and a place of equilibrium and balance. And so with that, we're asking you to bring your energy into your body. Attuning now to the physicality of who it is that you are, that you are in a body right now and you have a name, that you chose to be here on earth and you are on earth for a purpose. And that purpose is to expand your consciousness, to move into awareness and to radiate love. And as you do that, you may take that energy and that vibration and you might direct it in any direction or intent you are wanting for yourself and the collective to move into a more unified and peaceful state of being. It is that you may recognize an insurgence of violence an acts of grievance, uh, an eruption occurring. And this eruption comes from a deep disconnection from self, a deep disconnection from the essence of the I am that I am presence, a disconnection and a severing of the heart and a deep disconnection and severing from the earth and the home that holds and cradles you. And so we are asking you in this now moment to see yourself sitting on the earth with your bottom on the grass or in the sand or the soil, feeling yourself deeply grounded, bringing your energy in and grounding into the earth. And as you are grounding in now and feeling her presence, and her love as she cradles and holds you, as she has unconditionally given to you all that she has. She has cared for you and housed you and honed her, you, and without her, you have nowhere to live. And so it is time to pay attention to her, to honor her, to hear her call, to listen to the sounds that she shares, the whispers of a light breeze or the roar of a hurricane, the gentle wave of the ocean or the large crash of the tsunami. For she is very powerful and you must not forget that. And yet she can bring a message to you gently or with a great roar. And so we ask you to tune and to listen to her and to her subtle messages so that she may convey her shift and her change and her needs in a way in which you can hear with gentleness and grace. Attuning to her now, I want you to feel a cord of light moving down from your pelvic floor into the earth connecting you and moving in. You may even feel tentacles coming out of your feet like a spider web of energy moving down, energy grounding and tethering you like roots are growing from the base of your body into the ground as you feel yourself fully and completely connected to her, knowing that within her core is a cube from Metatron's cube, the platonic solid that grounds and records your life and your essence, 
Feel the weight of it. Um, feel the heaviness of it. Feel your connection to it. Uh, move through it and into your earth star, feeling your connection to that. Uh, turning it on. Creating greater connection and strength. And as you feel grounded now, fully and completely in the earth, in a very genuine and honoring way, bringing your attention now to your heart, opening up your heart center, and washing away any debris, any energy that is heavy or old, that is filled with resentment and grief and sorrow, cracking that open, that armor, a willingness to be open and vulnerable, seeing it soften and seeing a tube of energy in a beautiful pink and golden light, uh, connecting to a beautiful heart in front of you. And this heart in front of you is the heart uh, of the sacred heart. It is a universal heart of unconditional love. Some may attune to the frequency of Jesus and his love for you. You may feel that heart vibration as he holds this energy. The energy of love without judgment or expectation, without shoulds, uh, simply because you are. Releasing criticism and hardening of the heart and opening in a willingness to soften your heart. Receiving a blessing now as that vibration and energy moves toward you as a hand from the higher realms is placed upon your heart and it begins to melt away any hardening, any guardedness, any sense uh, that you aren't safe softening it and opening up a space for a willingness to be more vulnerable, more connected, more open. And with that now, bringing your energy up into the higher realms, attuning to your pineal gland, awakening it and seeing it begin to light uh, as it is turning on, seeing a brightness of it, uh, uh, an energy that is blooming within the pineal gland, expanding. And with that, asking you now to bring awareness and attunement to the great spirit, the universal one, the I am that I am, the presence of all that is, love itself. And with that, you may bring in your own guides, beings that have always been there for you that perhaps you have forgotten about or new ones that may be visiting. They may be gods or goddesses, angels or beings from other star systems. Attuning to the vibration of their energy could be those that you love who have passed may bring their awareness to you that you are not alone, that there are teams of beings here to support you, honor you and help you on your path, but you must open to them and be aware and invite them in, creating a deeper connection here. And with that now is a turning on of your earth energy and your connection to your heart, and attuning to the higher realm, allowing yourself to be filled in an egg of radiant light, knowing that you are worthy and lovable. Bring your awareness now as you expand this light that you are feeling, this gentleness, this open-heartedness, this sense of groundedness and deep gratitude, a sense of connection and feeling safe. Open up now and uh, create a circle, widening a circle around you as if you are drawing a sphere. It is your own sacred uh, and secret place that is only for you and it is quite unique and special. Inside it, there may be butterflies floating about or bumblebees or birds flying. You may hear the crashing of the waves of the ocean 
or the crickets in the forest. You may feel moss beneath you or sand or rock. You may be in the desert or near a lake. Attuning to the meadows and the vibrations of higher realms, creating what appears and feels to you like heaven on earth. Perhaps there is a waterfall and a hummingbird or a blooming rose. Whatever may arise, bringing in an awareness and a smile to your face. Smiling in this now moment, attuning to this energy. Now bring your awareness to someone in your life who may be struggling, may be angry, whose hearts may be closed, may be an energy that is easily erupted, or could just be not well, have low energy, or be sick, could be someone you love or someone that you find difficult. It could be a leader of a country or an energy on a system in an institution or court, uh, education or religion, whatever and whoever it is uh, that you want to serve and soften today, bring an awareness that they may come into your circle as you invite them in, not to judge them, not to change them, not to fix them, but to simply love them. As your circle is open and you invite them to come in, they sit down in front of you. And as they sit down in front of you, you now gain your strength. You see, for you have all walked the land before as the great medicine man or medicine woman. You know how to intuitively move energy and to heal. You may have forgotten temporarily, but that memory, that knowing resides within. Attune to that knowing, that power, allow it to rise within you and stand up strong and stand in front of this being and open your heart and beam love to them and take your hand and move their energy. Perhaps you feel you have to move it down as you are clearing something from their field that they may move back into balance. Perhaps you are sending it all the way down as you are grounding them into the earth and allowing Mother Earth's energy to rise and fill them with love. Perhaps you are opening the skies from above as their star sisters and brothers and beings of light and guides and masters flood their stream of consciousness to remind them that they are love. Perhaps you go in and place your hand on their heart and spin it and open it as you bring the great masters to touch it. And as their heart is touched, it legs up like a beautiful bulb that begins to blossom like a flower in the spring. We will give you a moment now to work with them, to love them, to move their energy, to care for them, and to recalibrate their frequency to love. When you're feeling complete, you may bow to them, letting them know that you are simply here to honor them, that you see the divinity in them, that may have gotten lost, that it may be crowded out uh, with the, the thought, the personality, and the ego, but you see beneath it the spark, the light that is within them that resides within you. And with that now, you see light raining down upon them, pouring down beautiful pebbles of energy 
that are hitting different parts of their body and exploding and sending healing and love throughout their whole field, encapsulating them in a rainbow now of light. With that now, you may open your sphere, your circle of your sacred place and bid them farewell, wishing them well on their way, on their journey in their life. May they be filled with more light and more love. Bowing that you are grateful you had the energy and the remembering to be of service and to help. And so with that knowing now, that you are filled with more light, for as you give, you receive a thousandfold. You are elevating and calibrating to a place of centeredness and groundedness, connection and love. And that the rest of this day may be one based in listening to others and honoring yourself in loving who you are, in seeing the divine in every and everything, in listening to the great mother, attuning to your instincts and following your own intuitive knowing. And so it is. Hmm. Bringing your awareness now into the presence of the here and now in this room, wherever you are on earth, feeling more connected, open, and grounded. All right. Thank you for this Wednesday morning practice. I enjoy it. I'm happy to be of service. I love you. Thank you for all your donations. Thank you for being in my community. Thank you for everything. And I, um, I'll see you guys on Sunday. I love you. I unmuted you. Thank you so much, much love. Thank you, Thank Kelly. You, Kelly. Thank, Thank you, Kelly. Much love. Thank you. Blessings, my Thank sister. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you, Kelly. Love you so much. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Peace and blessings. Much gratitude. Thank you, Kelly. Much gratitude. God bless you. Thank you. Thanks, love. Much love, everybody. Thank you, Thank you Kelly. To you. I hope we all get to meet one day. Yeah. <laughs> you. Yes. Well, we will Thank for you. sure somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Kelly. Thank, Thank you, Kelly. Love you. Love you. Love you. Thank you, Kelly. Have a great day. Thank you, Kelly. Love you. Have a great rest of the week. Say hi to Casey. I will. Thank Say hi you. to Casey. Right. Love you both. <laughs> Thank Love you all. Bye, Kelly. Have Thank a great you, day. Thank you, thank you, Miss Kelly. Hey, I signed up for the light worker. What, uh, uh, do I miss something or is there a replay or can you enlighten yeah, me? So, I, yeah, uh, email me, Don. The light worker has all gives you all access to all the material we've ever done, all the activations and all that. It's the I am. It's the Kelly, I, I am membership. You're talking to us. What? It's the I am membership where we're doing the key posts. But okay, uh, I, I'm not very good about checking my email. Maybe did I miss a meeting? I don't think so. No. Okay. Well, I was interested in the one where we got a name from White Feather. I think that was the the last thing I heard. Okay, that's in the I am that's membership. So that's different than the Light Worker. Oh shoot. <laughs> Maybe I need to upgrade. <laughs> okay. I, I'm a man, so I need some prayers and some help, sweetie. <laughs> All right. Sending them your way. Sending them your way. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Love well, you. Thank you. You're welcome, darling. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a beautiful Thank day. You. Thank you. you Thank you. you. Have a great day. Love and bless you to everyone. Love, Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.